Okay, this is the colonialism slides. You know, you cannot, you cannot underestimate, and it is very essential that we talk about all of the egregious crimes. You know, I know nobody really want to talk about that, but I know that Canada has, has it been in a big apology system, but that is buffalo skulls. That is what that is. And the crime against nature, the crime against people that was committed by the United States in different ways continues to be committed by Canada. Continues to be committed by Canada with the mass destruction of ecosystems like in the Tar Sands Territory. It's things that are unresolved historic and present grief that exist. And it is in my heart, it is in the heart of every indigenous person. And if, if you have a good case of historical amnesia, because of your education in Canada and you forget about stuff like that, maybe you don't know, but you need to feel. You need to feel what has happened here and we need to, f and we need to come to the process of how you make amends for that. Next picture. This is the signing of a dam. This picture could be any reserve. This is the Fort Berthold dam signing photo and I'm just saying there's a native man there crying and weeping. You know, I, I, I get so vexed. I get so darn vexed with these provinces that act as if progress, you know, that there is some form of progress. And the price is that. The price is dignity of human beings. The price is flooding of homeland after homeland after homeland after homeland. Huge intergenerational trauma that is carried. And yet everybody in this room knows that by and large, indigenous history and these histories are not discussed in the curriculum. And it is important that we bring these in, that we understand the implications, and we understand that it is time to not just say, you know, I, I, I have a lot of problems a lot of times with, you know, we, we'll, we'll give you some money, I hope you feel better. You know, I don't feel better. I don't feel better, a little money doesn't change my situation. You know, I want, I want things fixed. You know, I want things fixed. And those are long-term ecological issues, but the fact is there's a lot of stupid damn projects. There's a lot of stupid damn projects that were put up for a lot of bad reasons. And this is in our territories, and there are some in these territories. You know, I'm not a fan of the Manitoba hydro dams in the north. The impact on the Pimichikamek and other peoples, I'm fully aware of that. And that is genocide in the making in Manitoba as we speak. And then they act as if there's some like, why are those kids committing suicide? Wow, that's so crazy. You know, we're committing suicide because of the grief of losing an entire way of life and an ecosystem and being expected to move into the outskirts of Winnipeg and become some kind of a third-class citizen here. Because that is, in fact, the expectation that Manitoba has, is y'all will work it out. All you people who are climate change refugees in the north, your villages flooded out. All you people whose you know, territories have been contaminated, you just move over there and live in some ghetto in Winnipeg, you know? And that is not the way things should be. And so we must be courageous as teachers. Look into the depth of these issues. Do not like pick some, you know, you know, you know, pick a suicide epidemic and say, wow, how horrible is that? Look at why that happened. Look at the complicity of Manitoba in that process. Look at it and figure out how we address this because everybody in this room wants to be a better person. Everybody in this room wants to live in a society that doesn't cause misery to others. And there are ways to do that, but we must have the courage and you must be part of the teaching of those students to find that courage and to find those knowledge systems.